All right, so in this video, we're going to do a fabric canvas. This is all I use. These brushes uh, come in a three pack from the dollar store. These little sponges, I believe it's like a five or an eight pack uh, that come from the dollar store as well. My fabric shears, I've actually had these for like 15 years. Uh, we're going to use some Mod Podge. And uh, this is some fabric that I brought back from, um, let me see, hold on, where was I at when I got this? I can't remember if I was in Guinea or Ghana when I got this. I'm sorry. I was studying in Guinea, and then I uh, went over to Ghana for a little while. Uh, but I got this fabric when I was in Africa. So we're going to put this on a canvas today. So this is a 10 by 20. This is my fabric. Um, so let's get this ready. Uh, this fabric is super, 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 super long. Uh, like six, six yards or something uh, is what it came in. So... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this fabric to get it to the size that I want. So I'm going to use my little shoes here just to get me started. I want to take off the, uh, the salvage uh, on the bottom. I don't like that. When you are dealing with true uh, Ankara fabric, uh, you don't like cut, cut. You just cut to get... Uh, the, the seam going and then it rips exactly where you need it to go so that's what I'm doing right now I just snip it just a little bit maybe quarter inch and then literally I just rip it gets, it gets where I need to go that's it so I rip it and it goes right down the seam like it should muslin and true cottons will, will, do, will do that for you so I'm just going to leave a little overhang on the canvas. There's probably maybe, I don't know, quarter inch or half inch or something. I don't really like to do a lot of measuring. It takes too much time and thought process. And art for me is just, let's just do it. I see something, I just want to do it. I don't got time to be really thinking much about it. So I'm just cutting the top here so we can uh, have a little rectangle. So here we go. We have our rectangle. It's ready. Um, I want to make sure that I put it down on the right side. Uh, so hold on, let me flip it over. This is actually the right side of my fabric. Normally when I'm dealing with fabrics, I would iron them first, but because I'm going to be uh, stretching this out over this canvas, I'm not worried about uh, ironing it because I'm going to stretch it out with physically. So let me fold this fabric up real quick because if I don't, It'll just be all up in a pile. Okay. So, let's get this going. So, Mod Podge. Sorry, I don't know if I told y'all that. Mod Podge. That's what we're going to use to uh, adhere this fabric up on here. So, very liberally, we're going to get this Mod Podge on the canvas we can get our fabric on okay so I'm just painting this on it's really hard to see I know because it's white on white so you can't really see what I'm doing but I'm not I'm literally just like painting this on I'm trying to get a real good coverage uh, so like I said I'm being very liberal I'm not worried about you know spreading it out uh, too much when I uh, put it on, I'm trying to really just get it uh, real saturated. I'm trying to saturate it. That's really what you're trying to do. You need to get it saturated, okay? So we're going to saturate this canvas. Saturate it. You can't add too much on this. On this, uh, I mean, you don't want to pour it on there, but... You really can't uh, add too much for this particular, uh, for the first uh, coating. When you get in, uh, the, the fabric on there, you really want to saturate this. So that's all I'm doing. Making sure that all the corners and the sides got, uh, got this notch spot on it, okay? That look good. I'm going to get some of these little lumps out. This is a big container of uh, Mod Podge. So there are time, you know, the there are uh, lumps in there sometimes. I just take those things out. 
Sometimes you can brush them out, but you don't want that old stuff that started to harden here, okay? So get rid of that. All right, here we go. Again, I want to make sure I'm putting the right side up. That's the wrong side. It's very hard to tell the wrong side from the right side when you're dealing with real uh, African fabric because it's printed on both sides. When you get a, a fabric uh, from America, you, you always know that it's not true uh, uh, Ankara African fabric because it's never printed on both sides. You can see right through it. This fabric right here is thick. It, it, uh, it has like a like a wax on, you know, it has like a wax material on it. It's really hard to explain. Okay, so I just put this on here. I kind of centered it. That look about centered. Okay, cool. Like I said, I don't like doing a lot of measuring. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the middle. You can see some of the Mod Podge is coming off on my fingers when I'm doing this. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the middle and I'm just gonna move out. I'm gonna move out. I'm gonna start coming down a little bit. I'm gonna pull this. Like I said, this is why I don't bother to iron it. You can iron it if you really, really want to. But I'm just going to use my fingers to press all that out. So I'm going to come down and out, right? We always want to come from the center. You want to kind of move kind of quick. Uh, the Mosh Podge ain't going to dry right now because it's cold in my uh, in my house. I got the heat on, but it's still it's getting kind of cold. I'm in Seattle, so it's like it's kind of cold outside. So I don't have to worry about the, the Mod Podge drying on me, but you still want to get this real smooth and you want to make sure to uh, get it uh, get it adhered as good as possible. Just keep on smoothing it out like this. Keep on moving from the center. You can even move it this way if you want to, you know. Okay. I'm going to start working down the sides. I'm just pushing down. Okay, I'm just working that, that beveled edge right there, and I'm just working it down. On uh, this other side right here, I need to put some more Mod Podge. It's not going to work. But do you see what I'm doing right here? I'm just getting it down. I'm using the back of my hand right now just to really get it to smooth down. This right here does not bother me. Um... I really like that little piece, especially when they start to, uh, uh, what, what, you, what you call it, what you call this, uh, uh, why am I blanking on the word for that? Um, normally, you know, you would burn your edges or whatever, so they don't, um, so they don't do that, but I like that look. I don't know, it just, to me, it just looks artistic, so I just work it down. Why am I blanking on the uh, word for this when I do that? When you're uh, sewing your fabrics, that is like the worst thing ever. You have to uh, treat your edges before you sew them by burning them or you put a, a, a fray. Fray, that's what it's called, fray. You put this uh, fray solution on, no fray, so it don't do that. Okay, so I'm just working them little edges right there. I'm going to put some more uh, Mod Podge down on here. So this little corner right here. You can try to fold it over, but it'll be you know, messed up a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to cut out a small square out of that little corner right there. I guess I could have done this before, but hey. It's just a little corner I just cut out of that. That's all. I just cut a little corner. That way when I lay it down, there's not as much bulk. Okay? That's all. And again, I like that look right there, okay? If you want to wrap it all the way around the back, just make sure your fabric is a little bit longer so you can extend it down on the back right here. I don't want mine like that, so I'm just going to leave it just like this. This is uh, the print. I know some folks is like, I've seen that before. This is the print that they give us on our Kente uh, uh, graduation stoves. Mm-hmm. So again, I'm just working this little edge on the top right here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Mod Podge coming out, which is great. I'm just kind of working that to get these little edges down. We're going to go over this, and we're going to uh, go over the top, okay? 
So again, I'm just uh, cutting out this little corner right here, just a little square or whatever, you know, just so it lays flatter. So again, all I did was just cut a little square out of the, uh, the corner right here. So then when I lay it down, it just lays flat, okay? It's like I'm mitering my corner. So I'm just I'm just cutting that bulk out. I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge on. Mod Podge your best friend right now. So be don't don't be afraid to be liberal. Let's put it on there. Product is your best friend. And all the excess that comes out, make sure just to smooth it out, okay? Because like on the top, if you just leave like a like a you know smudge of Mod Podge. Um, it can take a while to dry and yes, it does dry clear, but if you put too thick of a layer on there, it, 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 it will look, uh, somewhat white. So if you do get a whole bunch of it on there, right? So like, I'm not going to leave that like that. Mm -mm. We're going to smooth that out a little bit. Okay. If you don't, uh, like touching it with your fingers, you can put some gloves on or whatever. Um, I find that using uh, my fingers is the best way to get the fabric on there, okay? So that's what I do. I'm just rubbing it on there. I think I've made uh, four four canvases. Um, I, I'm a, a, oh shoot, hold on, I got some damn mosh cards on my shoe. These shoes are really expensive. They actually cost like $120. Um, I started off as a, a seamstress years ago. Um, I had a hair salon for years um, and I was, you know, I would always draw clothes. I would always like, you know, hand sew my own clothes. But then I finally decided to go to a fashion school for a while. And so I went, but it was too commercialized for me. I really wanted to learn how to custom make clothes for people. You know, somebody come to me and say, I want a wedding dress or something. I wanted to be able to do that, uh, but school was, uh, the school I went to was really focused on just kind of like industry, uh, commercialized, um, but one thing I did learn um, at school was like fabrics. I really learned uh, how to pick fabrics, what, you know, a good fabric versus a, a one that's not going to last for a long time, um, and so I have huge fabric stashes, like a huge fabric stash. <laughs> Um, and so fabric is kind of my medium. It's something that I'm familiar with. And so with this COVID and everything going on, um, I've just been trying to figure out different ways to utilize my fabric other than just sewing it. Um, I didn't want to make a dress or a purse uh, out of this fabric. I just, so I'm just glad that um, this idea has come to me to start, you know, working with the, with the fabrics. It just gives me an uh, opportunity to really uh, work with my fabrics, but kind of showcase them in a different way. So again, all I'm doing right now, I'm just getting that on there, just brushing that on there. Look, it's all, look, look it's coming off the bottom, that's fine. Just get it on there. You don't want to be a uh, light when you're putting this on the first time. When you're getting that fabric on there like this, you don't want to be light. But like I said, you do want to, uh, you do want to rub uh, any like, you know, huge, you know, uh, you don't want it to be white on the fabric. Like right here, it was all white. I got to rub that in. Okay, rub that in. Because if you don't, like I said, it will dry, but you you don't want any white spots. Okay, so get them little edges down. Okay, that's all we're doing right now. Getting them edges down. Look at all that Mod Podge coming up. We're going, ooh, ooh, nasty. We're gonna get all that down. Okay, so this corner right here, I cut out my little square, but there's still too much. So when I try to fold it, it's like there's still too much. I'm gonna pinch it, okay? When I pinch it, all that excess right there, I'm just gonna cut that. I'm cutting that, you see that? That just came out right, just nice, okay? Okay, use a little bit of Mod Podge. Just smooth it down. For me, this is very like sensory. Um, 
I really like using my hands and doing things. So for me, this is just, it's, this is a, a nice little project for me to do, okay? So I'm thinking we're doing good getting this down, okay? The edges is looking good, okay? There's no spots that are looking super white. This little part's a little exposed right there. That don't bother me. If it, if it bothered you, you take one of them little squares that you had cut off, you know, before, and you could use some Mod Podge, and you could literally just seal that back on there, okay? So if that's something that bothers you, you can do that. But again, if you're going to be putting it all around the back, right, if you're going to be extending your fabric, and you're going to be pulling it around the back here, um, you'll still use that same technique that I just showed you. You can pinch and you can cut that excess off or whatever, and you can still wrap that underneath, okay? So, now that we got that taken care of, I'm gonna move on to the, to the top, okay? So, it's real smooth. It's definitely adhered to it. There's no bubbles in it. Um, you wanna make sure that there's no bubbles, that it's nice and smooth. It's feeling like it's part of it. You hear that? It, you can you can hear it. It's like it's part of the canvas now. Okay? So, this is when we're going to put our layers on. I'm going to start in small sections because if I start in big sections, hold on, let me wipe my shears down just to make sure I didn't get my mod podge on. Um, if you start in big sections, you're likely to uh, get too much on, okay? So we're just gonna put this on here like this. You see all that thickness right there? That's too much, we need, we need to spread that out, okay? We don't want really thickness when we're dealing with the, uh, with the fabric. You might find that it's easier to use the sponge at this time. You see how the sponge is just, right? So the sponge, because the, uh, the nature of a sponge, right, it, it sucks up. So if you're finding that, you know, the brush is putting too much on, use that sponge afterwards like this. So this is when I, when I pull my sponge out. So I use both of them. I use the brush to apply to get it on there, but I use the, the sponge to really like work it in, okay? Okay, so again, I work in small sections and I just kind of work my way up, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. Make sure it's saturated a little bit. Well, not saturated, but make sure, you know, it's on there. And even, and now I'm gonna even it out. I'm blending it, okay? You can do like makeup. If we were putting our makeup on, we would like apply like, you know, the foundation, but then we would then go back in and we would, you know, blend it out, okay? So that's all we're doing. If you're a painter, you know, it's like, you know, it's just kind of like blending it. Blending the colors, smoothing it out, okay? So. Let's move on. We're gonna put real thin layers on here. We're probably gonna put, shoot. Last time I had to do this thing, I had to put like four, four uh, layers of, uh, of this on here. I had to wait, you know, 20 or 30 minutes in between. And then I had to uh, put about three or four uh, layers on. So I'm just, again, I'm just using my sponge to blend. To blend that in and make sure that there's it's not too thick there's not any white spots it's really even All right, so I typically will go in one direction when I'm dealing with um, the, the fabric. I am going side to side right here. That's just to make sure that I'm getting it on the, uh, the top there. But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go this way. I find that going one way with it is just, uh, just keeps it a little more smooth, okay? Okay, but well we still got to do our edges though, right? So we did the top, but we still need to uh, to seal it with our uh, with our Mod Podge. The reason 
that we are putting this sealant on the fabric, the sealant is not only going to protect it, you know, from uh, moisture or whatnot, it's going to give it a nice shine. It's going to give it a nice shine. Real nice shine. And knowing me, I will probably cover it with resin. So I'll probably cover it with an epoxy resin because uh, that's just my jam right now. I, I really love, uh, I don't know if it loves me because you know it's not healthy for your body, but uh, <laughs> I'm really loving uh, uh, resin right now. So I'm just doing the size right here, I apologize. Uh, I'll, you'll be able to see when I move to the, uh, to the other side. Just one moment, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm sealing this because if I do decide, which I probably will, uh, cover this with a, with a resin, the fabric will, um, the fabric has to be uh, sealed before you do that. I uh, have tried to put resin directly on fabric and um, it, it just doesn't, um, it absorbs into the fabric is what ends up happening. The fabric absorbs it. Um, it changes the color. It just colors it. Uh, I don't like that. Um, and so I make sure that I, I seal it good, okay? So this is what we're doing right here, okay? We're just going to get that epoxy. Or excuse me, my epoxy. Look, I'm already thinking about epoxy. Get that Mod Podge on there, okay? And again, we're just going to brush that out, okay? Let's brush down because our fabric is going down. Let's brush down. Okay. All right. There's a little spot on top. I need to blend out. I don't know how the little white spot got there. Okay. So that's all I'm doing right here. This is the second edge that I did. Now we're going to do this one. Okay. So. Let's get that on there. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's brush that out. Okay, make sure to seal that good. See this little part right here wasn't actually down from when I had put it down the first time. Those little frays right there, I'm just gonna brush them underneath. Later on, if they really bother me, I will take my Zacto knife and uh, cut them down. But for the most part, I'll, I'll literally just leave these little fray little babies and just leave them be. If they didn't get down the first, second time, I guess they wasn't meant to be down. So I just leave them. So let's blend this out, blend it out a little bit so, it, you know, we don't want it to be white. Because the edge is beveled, you know, meaning that it, it has a slight round to it, we want to make sure just to kind of go over that and make sure that you get that little edge, okay? Because we're going this way and we're going this way, but you want to make sure to get that beveled edge. So just go over it and just blend it in nicely, okay? If you are working in a, a warm environment, like a couple weeks ago, it was uh, it was hot um, in Seattle, and so um, as I was working, um, I was outside one day. I was working, and it was drying on me as I was like working, and so it started becoming tacky. It was sticky. So um, if you are working in a warm environment, uh, it's you got to work uh, fast with the uh, with the Mod Podge. If you're in a colder environment, your uh, your your time is much more uh, gracious. Okay, so I know this is taking me a minute. I'm trying to be thorough. Like I said, these look like this little string you just came off. Okay, you got to go. This little thing. Oh, that's part of the canvas. Okay, I got to go too. I don't like that. That's all, okay? So we just mod podging it. We had already done that side right there, okay? So now that we've done all the sides, we're gonna let that dry. This is all you have to do to put your canvas or put your fabric on canvas, okay? That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. 
So come back to this uh, in about 30 minutes. It's going to take about 30 minutes, like room temperature. If, Like I said, if you're warm, if you're outside, uh, if you're, you know, if it's 70, 75, 80 degrees, wherever you're at, um, this might actually dry, you know, closer to like 10 or 15 minutes. And so you might be able to put your layers on uh, faster um, or, you know, without, uh, mo you know, so much time in between the uh, intervals. So let this dry, put another coat on. You're going to want to put three or four coats on, okay? Once it's uh, sealed, it will have a beautiful, beautiful uh, gloss uh, effect to it. And because it is, you know, on canvas, it's ready to hang. So, you know, you uh, give this to your, you know, family members, your friends, you, you know, sell these or whatnot. Um, it's also a nice way just to get rid of your fabric stash. If, like I said, if you like me and you got a big one, so um, use some of those fabrics. You can use smaller uh, canvases if you just have scraps of fabric. You know, maybe you can use like a little eight by 10, um, uh, 12 by 12 or whatever uh, canvas you can get your hands on and use those scraps of fabric that you have. So I hope that you found, um, I hope that you found this, uh, you know, helpful. Um, I will go in, uh, one more thing, I can talk for days, I will go in and as it's like almost dry, like as it's getting like a little bit tacky, I will come in and do kind of like a roll action with my fingers because as you can see, I'm starting to get, you know, first grader looking fingers with glue all over it, but I will literally just come back on these corners and just do a little roll action, okay? So, like right here, if you can see it, it's not it's not smooth right here. It's like it's 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 coming up a little bit right here, and so I'm just gonna roll that down a little bit. Roll that down. I'm just gonna roll it down, okay? So that's it. Um. Like I said, I will come back uh, in about 20, it's just, the temperature it is in my house will probably take about 20 minutes for this to dry. Um, I don't want to put it on when it's, uh, when you, if you try to rush it and it's not dry and you try to put on a new coat, the new Mod Podge, the, the new, it will activate the old one and it'll start to get lumpy clumpy and it'll literally start to look like, you know, like how my hands are and you'll start to get this nasty little film um, and, and parts that start to come up. You don't want that. So make sure to let it dry. Take the time to let it dry. Um, again, I hope y'all found this uh, somewhat helpful. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I've only dealt with um, cottons. Um, I haven't dealt with any other uh, material uh, fabrics just yet. But um, if you have any questions, let me know. In love and solidarity, y'all stay safe.